thing. All right, Meg, this is only going to hurt for about three weeks. What the hell? That there's my steer, Griffin. <laughs> Before we start the video, link in the description down below. Just released a brand new cartoon for you guys. Links in the description down below. Make sure to click that. And subscribe because there will be daily vlogs over there and skits. What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD. And today we are here with my favorite type of videos to check out. Try not to laugh, Family Guy edition. Now, if you guys want to watch the original video, the links in the description down below for once. Let go. Good evening, I'm Diane Simmons. In traffic news, heavy gridlock on the 195 interchange. We now go live to Drunk Billy in the Channel 5. <laughs> Still hungry, said the very hungry caterpillar, but you've already <laughs> Drunk Billy will be missed. <laughs> but what you shouldn't miss is What? What? Is the Quahog Rodeo coming to the Civic Center this Friday? Tickets are on Chill, look at this. In this week's TV guide, it says Peter gets more than he bargained for when he joins the rodeo. Well, it's in the guide. Hey, can we make that a thing? Can we start calling TV Guide the Guide? You know what? I'm not even asking anymore. That's what we're doing. Who says I couldn't be a rodeo star? I got more cowboy blood in me than Billy the Kid. Well, he robbed his way from Utah to Oklahoma. All right, Meg, this is only going to hurt for about three weeks. What the hell? That there's my steer, Griffin. <laughs> Mayor West is hands down my favorite character in this whole damn show. Mom, when's it dad's turn? I don't know, Chris, but I think we should all pray for your father that he comes out of this uninjured. Those horses stink, and it's too hot in here. I fell asleep in the car, so now I'm cranky. This is a disgusting display. Boy, you can say that again. Nothing like a bunch of adult men teasing animals for fun. You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What, 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 what's that? You gonna find out. Huh? Where you going, fatty? We gonna have a party. <laughs> Well, we're looking for someone to write a piece on the everyday activities of the average American teenage girl. Oh, I love teenage girls. It's all ahead of them, you know? They haven't turned into b****s yet. Uh, the hell they haven't. It's true. What happened to all of us? I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. We're down here on my vacation. It's a big deal for me to be down here on my own. I like the swimming pool with a bar in it, because you can sit on a bar stool and you're in the water. I like how all the food and drink is included in the price of the ticket. Yeah, that way you don't have to bring your cash down from the room. Okay, well, I was just looking for a friend of mine, so maybe I'll see you later. Here's real. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Gosh. Okay, into the eternal pit of fire you go. Anybody who's watched Goof Troop laugh when he fell. So it's not just me! Dewey, what are you doing? Oh, just doing a little Tai Chi. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look 100, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? No, nah, we're... What? What is it? I got a splinter! Ah! Uh, uh. Hey, say what you will, man. Splinters freaking hurt. Either that or stepping on a Lego or falling knee first onto the pavement. I oh my God, so 
Joey, what is it? Oh, he's just got a splinter. Oh, my poor baby. It's because these old stairs are just falling apart. It's not just the stairs. Griffin, say hello to Opie's replacement, Stella. Nice to meet you. Well, what, what, what is this? We doing a new secret handshake now? No, Griffin, she's deaf. Oh. Can she read lips? Yes, I can. So, if I do this, I can talk about what a sweet rack she had? Like, can you smell my farts before they even come out? Because I got one in the pocket right now, and I want to know if I need to feel self-conscious about it. I can't smell it, no. I might be able to see it, though. A lot of people make small movements with a fart. So Abby, Elaine, and Janet have their little lunch click, and of course, I'm not invited. Seems like you're doing everything, and they're doing nothing. Well, I don't know, but what I do know is that in the staff meeting, uh -huh. Christina said my uh -huh. inventory system wasn't feasible. She's but obviously when the threatened by you. the sales manager came back in it's the room... It's ridiculous. Peter, you ready to go to the clam? Oh, who's the hot chick? Oh, that's Stella. You don't have to whisper. She's deaf. Really? Oh my god, that's hot. I didn't know you had a thing for deaf chicks. Any kind of disabled chick, Peter. They can do things to you that regular chicks don't even think. Hey, I'm just... You know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Ah! Yeah! Ah! This is... Really? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah! This is what you are, and this is what I am. Peter, are you okay? What the hell happened to the stairs? They're all slippery now. I had them replaced, remember? The old ones were so rough and Stewie got that splinter, so I, I thought replacing the wood was the best way to go. When'd you do that? The other day, when you spent all that time at the drugstore. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Disabled ladies' night? <laughs> I am so disappointed in whoever wrote that. Hey guys, all the action's over here. Quagmire, what is all this? Peter's new co-worker gave me an idea. Welcome to Disabled Ladies Night. Ah! Hey, would you like to go out? Ah! Ah! You know the one with the peg leg was kind of bad though. Like I had a hell of smash. Out sometime. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, well, you know, I read somewhere that women decide within the first seven seconds if they're interested in you or not, so I figured I wouldn't waste anybody's time. Fair enough. Hey, uh, you want to go outside, maybe a little quieter? Sure. Oh, my God, I, uh... Hey, check out Brian with a blind chick. Hey, don't worry, Brian, you're still doing better than... I just don't know how much... F She's probably giving it up. No, she probably ain't got no 30-day wait rule or none of that, man. It's... How you gonna take a blind chick to the movies, though? That's... Hey, she gonna have her to be sitting there watching it like she can watch it. Fun it is for a blind person to go to the movies. Brian. Blind people go to the movies all the time. We just listen. I might be blind, but my brain has been trained to listen to any movie and know exactly what's happening on screen. Like, I love Titanic. Maybe next time I'll have trouble, though. You might have to help me find it next time. So there's a next time? Definitely. Great. Well, all right. Good night. Ugh. Our stupid neighbor's dog barks 24-7. God, I hate... Yes? Isn't he the cutest little cutie? Wee? Look how cute he is. Yes, he's very cute. Yes, he's cute. Yes, he's cute, 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 cute. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Look at it. Look at that face. Come on, look at... I'm correct. This should land us in 6 million BC. <laughs> Quick, get us out of here! <laughs> Boy, that was close. Oh my God, where's Frank? I'm over here. Oh, okay. Ow! Next week. Yay! He's a good singer. Yeah, I've been catching his library shows since there were only like three or four kids here. You should have been here, man. Those were the shows. Oh, looks like somebody made a friend. I know, aren't they cute to play date? Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Look at them. They're getting along like Billy Bob Thornton and his cat. Billy Bob? Leave me alone, I'm taking a bath. Brian, how is He-Man supposed to get to... Cybertron. Hey, up, up, and away, right? He-Man doesn't fly. Look, why are you being such a dick about this? I'm just trying to join in. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? That's, you, that's you not sound fair. Like I think I'm doing pretty no, well. You don't...
Oh, I'm getting some steam. Picking up steam here, Scotty. You better look out. Bro, this makes me miss playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, yo. I've legitimately got to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards again. That was my childhood, yo. That was my ish. Oh, I don't feel so well. Mrs. Griffin, it's a good thing you brought this child in. Why? Is he okay? I'm afraid he's very sick. In fact, his lab work shows he's suffering from Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh my god. Are you saying Scotty has can oh, hope? Ben, I'm so sorry to have to tell you this, but Scotty has cancer, we know. You do? Yes, we're aware of his condition, but you shouldn't have brought him to the hospital without... It's... Oh no, he doesn't receive treatment. What? We're Christian scientists. We don't accept medical care for ourselves and we don't permit it for our children. But your son has cancer! Wait a minute. Over him! Well, that's what they do. They believe that disease is just an illusion, and the only way to fight it is to make your faith stronger. Illusions? You want to talk about illusions? If you die tomorrow, you think we're going to be devastated, but you know what? We're just going to go out and buy another dog. God damn it, I knew that. Way to be dark, Chris. Really, really dark. At Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. If I don't want to work for him, Cat is a... He's even mean at the circus. And now, the great Candini, who works without a net. Fall, you idiot! Hey, stop! No, I didn't come to this circus to watch some fruit go for a walk. <laughs> well, we're obviously not going to win this one, but at least it's funny. Ah, that's good circus. Grandpa's house looks so different since Trisha Takanawa moved in. Yeah, there's a stream in here now with a bridge. Don't know why. Makes me want to take a crazy whiz. I know you guys are gonna get along great, but just a heads up, in this house, we're on Yoko's side of the disagreement. Also, everyone here is a fan of Cheap Trick, because who the f*** knows why. I know. And now he's stuck driving around in that car she made him buy. Oh. Chicks make you buy stupid stuff, huh? Boy, everybody in town is out here today. Oh, what a voyage this is. We must be traveling in excess of four kilometers per hour. Oh, yes. This is due to our combined weight totaling 25 stone. Oh, this brings me back to the days of childhood, losing down the famous Mount Europe. You said it, friend. What an entertainment this is. I look forward to laters when we are inside for warm ginger mash and bubbly fermented onion beverages. Is it just me, or did all of that sound dirty? At least the end of it. Boy, everybody in town is out here today. Snow, snow, snow. As night. My mom says I can keep sledding. Wow, you're doing great. Thanks, but can I get a break? I haven't worked this hard since I opened that crappy hotel. Hi, welcome to the Three Seasons. Here's your room key. Checkout time is 4 a.m. If you need towels, knock on your neighbor's door. Homie said the Three Seasons were... And there should still be some soap in the washcloth. Why do you call it the murder-suicide room? It used to be the wedding suite. Is it possible to get a wake-up call? Yeah, you're gonna die tonight. Ah! So, Elaine, I'm going through the expenses from your trip, and I couldn't help but notice your Chipotle receipt indicates you added guacamole. That's considered an elective food, so I will be deducting a dollar forty from your reimbursement. Well, now you know. Jeez, look at him all high and mighty. Who does he think he is, the king of Italy? Your Majesty, your gondola is here. How many are meatball in the gondola? Twenty-five. I am the king of Italy. How am I supposed to cross a town on just a twenty-five meatballs? But our country is bankrupt. That don't matter. What the matter is how many meatballs the king sit on. The king is on the meatballs. Our problems are over. Eh, what I tell you? <laughs> Italy, once the world's most... Preeminent power has been on a steady decline for the last 500 years. Probably got something to do with all the money they spend on meatballs and gondolas. My word, this is hard to watch. Like the original ending of Pretty Woman. Vivian! Vivian! Vivian, I love you! Tell me this is not, oh, I was about to say, tell me this is like she, he walks in on her with another dude. <laughs> It doesn't matter to me that we come from very different worlds. We're gonna make it work. 
I was thinking you'd live in my bunghole. No! Ah! 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 Ha! Ha! Oh, wow, this will be great. I haven't been out west since I was touring in my one-man show about the dining habits of General Norman Schwarzkopf. Kuwait, 1992. Meal. Dinner. Soldier waiter, I gave you a direct order for french fries with mayonnaise. I know the heat here is not good for egg-based condiments, but Jeeps McGee, we're the U.S. Army. We can afford a mayo fridge. How are the reviews, Skippy? Not good. They said it was very similar to the one-man show you did about General MacArthur. Jeeps McGee, all of Tokyo is burning and I can't even get a piece of cooked fish? I think maybe giving those bees steroids was a bad idea. Very bad. Even worse than when the f- Bruh. This is still the funniest thing I've ever seen! A fat man listed our house on Airbnbm. Hello, we are here from Dusseldorf to make chocolate in your toilet. Come right in. Mi casa es pu casa. Ja, we saw that on the website. I'm just very proud of it. That's real. They might drop a chocolate in my toilet, it's gonna be me! Welcome once again to Thanks for the Clamories. All right, we'll start with a segment we call, How Many Seasons Has Castle Been On? I know it's between three and a thousand. Wait, is Castle Bones? Cleveland, you're a huge Castle fan. Cleveland. I was told not to speak. This is not going well. Peter, do something quick. People aren't used to boring podcasts. Ah, oh, great, thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. No, we said no! What? I understand. I guess I'm on my own. <sighs> Nothing left for me to do but exit into some old-time movie bad weather. Huh? Yep, there it is. Yep, there you go. We now return to The Jinx, sponsored by Kroger's. That's it. You caught. Of course I grilled them. I grilled them all. Of course. And by them, I mean low-cost, high-quality steaks. Kroger's. Right store. Right price. Beep! See, this, right here, this is the one percenter crap I can't stand. What are you, one of those bra burners? I'm saying I'm done with you. Now go take the bus home with the rest of the poor people. The bus? Ooh. Oh! Ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay, 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 ay! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, a boom shadow from the sound guy we can't fire because his wife died. There it is. But first, Quahog says goodbye to an old friend. So how's it going with the back brace? People giving you a hard time? Quite the contrary, Brian. Apparently, people love the wretched. Thanks to this thing, I get front row seating at any event. Great. Hundred bucks a ticket and I get stuck next to a bracer? Adam! You want to switch? No. Oh my god, I just got four more ma- Matches! <laughs> This is amazing! It's the greatest invention since the firecracker! Gentlemen, after many years of research, we finally did it. We've solved the problem of too many fingers in Florida. Brian, I can't go in there looking like this. They're all going to laugh at me. Stewie, you'll be fine. I mean, you're probably better off here than being left at home with Peter. Oh! Hey, my sister will show you her hairs for a cigarette. What the? All right, now that depends on what hairs. Hi, are you more? Why, yes, I am. You must be Lori. You ready? I sure am. That's great. And FYI, it's the Sabbath, so you'll be doing all the work. That sucks we didn't get the castle. I know, and I already hired an imbecile stable boy. We, we didn't get the castle. Just set the horses free in the street. Good dolly, don't bump the dolly, dolly. All right, guys, we got soda and jerky. Let's go watch a high school baseball game from our car. Jeez, is that Quagmire? Use your phone. Hey, hey, use your phone. Hey, man, hey, man, use your phone. Why he remind me one of them homeless people from South Park? Change! 
Back off! He may have a concussion! A concussion? Well, sure looks like it. He's acting all weird and confused, like Dorothy at the end of The Wizard of Oz. And you were there, and you were there, and you were a cowardly lion, and- What about me, Miss Dorothy? Was I there? No, no you weren't. But you were a tin man, and- Why, Miss Dorothy, I've worked on this farm for 22 years. You see me every day of your life. You sure I wasn't there as a friendly dragon or a talking tree or... What can I tell you, Eddie? You weren't there! Didn't you tell Stewie not to put his eye black on his upper lids? I tried. He insisted it looks better that way. Hey, you know what makes this pop? The nude... Yes, that popcorn was off the floor, but I employ the 30 second rule because it was a lot longer than the five second rule would permit. So, lips, and then I'll do a bolder lip for night games. All right, football, let's stop this game. Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit, along with this t-shirt that says, Koha Garlic Festival 2008. Aww. That was a good one. Los Lobos played at that. Okay, kids, we're gonna start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! No! <sighs> Alright, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. I really tried to hold that one in. You have no idea. Jeez, Joe, what the hell happened? You used to be this badass cop out there on the street, busting heads and keeping us safe. Yeah, what I do now probably doesn't sound all that glamorous, but Chief says I'm the glue that holds the department together. Actually, now that I think about it, he may have said I'm the guy that orders the glue, which I'm now remembering we're very low on. I will see you guys later. I'd be happy to give you a lift if you want. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. You're a real lightsaber. Did you just say lightsaber? I think you mean lifesaver. What, like the candy? What are you, an idiot? No, like you're you're a lightsaber. Like like you help people, like the space sword. Peter, it's lifesaver. The expression predates Star Wars. Nothing predates Star Wars, Joe. It was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Now come on, let's hit the rope. Couldn't have put it better myself. Wow, this is awesome. I can't believe I'm a Quahog thug. When do we start skating? Hold on. First, this guy from Avis is gonna walk around your bodies and make marks where stuff is already dented. You see that there? Yeah. Jeez, this is gonna suck worse than hanging out with those hippos. Guys, I gotta be honest. I thought there'd be a lot more marble eating. That's just nasty. Not even gonna laugh. Welcome back to tonight's roller derby bout. The sport that combines life-threatening injuries with the unauthorized public use of Van Halen songs. I'd give you the score if I had any idea what was happening. And the winner of Dinner with the Mayor is... Adam West! All right! I've got so many questions! Now, I thought I'd place this extremely elaborate dollhouse right here in the lobby. That way I can run over and snap at any child who tries to play with it. All right, let's do this. I'm always up for a new experience. Like that time I played pickup basketball. Oh, check out these moves. Which way is he gonna go? Yo, baby, come on, I'm open! Yeah! You're being a ball haul! Too bad, it's my ball. Damn! Baby, you gotta pass the ball, baby! What did you say? Say that again. Baby, you gotta pass the ball, baby! We got a hit. We did. Stewie and the black guys from the park sold over a thousand copies. But then the black guys took their royalties and quit the group. And that was the end of the Quahog sound. That's a nice story, baby. But I gotta sweep, sweep, sweep the floor. What did you say? Say that again. Sweep, sweep, sweep the floor. The baby asked me to say it again. And now it's a song. We now return to 11 angry men and one developmentally disabled man. Okay, the vote is 11 for guilty and one for kitty. Oh. All right, let's keep talking it out. Has the jury reached its verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, kitty. What? Peter, I think what everyone's saying is that you've got dad breath. What the hell's dad breath? You know, dad breath. Guys get older, they stop paying attention to hygiene, their bodies are changing. 
It's just a fact that at a certain age, men start to rot from the inside out. <sighs> I don't smell it. Huh. Maybe that explains what happened with that new guy at work today. Steve's spaceman. Really? You mean it? All right, let's go. <sighs> Good. Oh. So apparently she did that so she didn't have to have sex with him. It's not right. Oh, Dad! It smells like rotting flesh in here. Take the window lock off. Can't do that, Meg. I don't trust myself not to jump out the window. Meg, are you okay? Do you need mouth to nose resuscitation? <laughs> That's not nice. That's, me that's messed up. Messed up. <sighs> Politics. Oh! <sighs> Coach is a bum. Oh, bloody hell! Ha! <laughs> Beetle Bailey. Ha! 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 Oh, that's it! You're gonna let this go, are you? You're as stubborn as a four hour erection. Well, she's long gone, so, uh, you can go too. Oh, no. You got me for another three and a half hours, pal. Go ahead, seek medical attention. I'm not going anywhere. You can't stay. I'm chaperoning my daughter's Girl Scout dinner in 45 minutes. Well, tuck me into your waistband and try not to pee up your shirt. That's not nice at all. Guy, I ordered that shrimp two hours ago. Uh-oh. Looks like you should have ordered from Hurry Up Shrimp. Hurry Up Shrimp? Well, that just sounds fast. On average, Americans spend upwards of 50,000 hours waiting for shrimp over the course of their lives. When I heard that, I thought to myself, why on earth don't these guys just hurry up? So that's just what we did. Well, I'm very proud of you, Peter. And since you are so well behaved at the dentist, you can order anything you want. Well, Dad, when do I get to go to the dentist? When you're older, Chris. Good evening, countrymen. And women. Oh. Welcome to the Founding Father. Hey, little guy. You know, that's a real treasure map you've got there. Revolutionary War. He died before he could retrieve it and left behind only this map. Many believe his treasure is still buried right here in Rhode Island. Okay, I'm gonna go do diarrhea and then I'll be right back to take your order. It's time to come home. You've been out here digging all day. I, I told you this whole thing was ridiculous. <sighs> what the hell was I thinking anyway? I must be some kind of idiot. <gasps> <gasps> what was that? Holy crap, Lois! I don't believe it. There really was something buried out there. Well, it's not the treasure. But it looks like it's a clue to where the treasure is. Face the circle in the square. You'll see me. I'll show you where. Interesting. 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 Hey, look! Dad's on TV! Hello, I'm Tom Tucker, here with local fortune seeker Peter Griffin, who appears to have found a clue to a hidden treasure. That's right, Tom, and I sincerely hope that the caption beneath me doesn't say local fatty. Let's do something about that caption. All right, well, you can check out the clue at our website, the real Quahog 5 news at 6 underscore Rhode Island dot net. We were a little late getting a website. Everyone has the clue. Why would you do that? Because I'm tired of people saying I don't know nothing. Everyone doubted me, so I wanted to rub it in their faces that I was right. All right. By telling them where the treasure that they didn't believe you existed is. That is not smart. Where is it? Give me that. Is this all there was? Yeah, is there anything else we should know before we start looking? Whoa, 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 this is our thing. We're not sharing this with anyone. Peter, come on, are you serious? If Joe or I found this, we'd want you right alongside us. Well, yeah, we're like peas in a pod. Instantly handled my ego despite my clear instructions, and now you want a piece of my treasure? I don't think so. Well, fine, we don't need you anyway. Peter, I don't like this. It seems like this treasure is already turning people against each other. Hang on, you guys, I think I might have figured something out. The circle in the square. That could be the clock in the town square. Wow, that, you're right. Let's see, face the circle in the square. Face the circle. Face. Okay. You're talking about a blowjob? Oh, you the give it face? My bad. 
My bad. Y'all don't deserve that. My the bad. gesturing needs to stop. No one else is doing that. Look, when you face this way, you're looking at the statue of Miles Musket. Crap, you guys, there's already other people here. Wait, when I played Jane Musket in the school play the last three weekends, thanks for coming. I couldn't, I had a thing. I had a lot of dog stuff that day. The weekends I like to spend with my kids. I learned that Timmy Musket is buried in a cemetery on Block Island. I remember it because my big speech was, Timmy! Meg, please. That must be what chip off the old block means. That's it. Meg, take the car home. Your mother and I are taking a ferry to Block Island. The fat man's gonna figure out this. They don't never, they just don't, they just refuse to show Meg any love, yo. That is hilarious to me. It's clues. He's an idiot. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yes, I mean, he's the guy who put all those little bald men in incubators because he thought they were babies. Look at you. You came early, but you're gonna make it. I'm a senior vice president at an investment firm. Oh, someone's a fussy britches. One half a Mounds bar? What? Who eats a Mounds bar? I do. My, my whole life, I don't think I've ever seen a single person eat a Mounds bar. Well, you're about to see one now. So you walk into a store, you see the hundreds of options for candy, and you choose a Mounds bar? Yep. So what is it you like? The coconut? The chocolate? Yeah, both those things. How long you been eating them? Uh, I brought... What are you doing? Why are your nipples poking into me? Sorry, that happens when I'm cold. But why are there three of them? There aren't. Two of them are moles. Those numbers still don't add up. Why the hell are we taking a hot air balloon? I don't think we're anywhere near Block Island here. Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Never gonna die! Your friend is like the coolest guy I've ever had up here. Oh, damn it, Lois, they're already here. This is all your fault. What? How is this my fault? Because you just had to stop for ice cream. Then you get in there and you order like you never heard of food before. Say it, but I guess we're supposed to dig this kid up. Any volunteers? Ah, uh, dig, kids. Ollie, hold it right there. Whoa. Anyone's digging into this little... Come on. <clears throat> oh, no. No, the phrasing on all of this is bad. Ollie, hold it right there. If anyone's digging into this little kid's grave, it's me. You're too late. We got here first. No, it's my treasure hunt. I found the first clue. You guys are just horning in. You guys, calm down. See, this is what I was talking about. You can't desecrate a child's grave. Don't worry, Lois. We're going to do it with reverence. Hey, how about a little digging song? Oh, my God, you hit your own son. That's it, Peter. I am not going to stand here and be a part of this madness. You're on your own because I quit. Chris, Meg, we're going home. Well, good. You were just slowing me down anyway. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. Oh, my God. Feel so... Put a wig on her and everything. Hey, hey, you, you the new Lotus. You new Lois. Huh? Turn around and touch your toes. Don't come back up until I'm done. All the adults know what I'm talking about. You new Lois. You know what I mean? You gotta break her in. You know what I mean? Weird to be looking at a dead kid and not have angry parents nearby. Hey, look, there's something written inside the lid. <laughs> you've crossed the miles, you've pawed through clues. Find where he hits, misses, cheers, and boos. And by the way, for those who came on my boat, I have those sandwiches. Hits, misses, cheers, and boos. Ah, Lois took the bike. Hey, wait a minute. This is a great time for me to do my Suzuki Samurai promo. Are you a Hawaii scumbag? Do you chug energy drinks in Arizona? Suzuki Samurai. Ninja name, garbage car. From Mr. <laughs> he was right. There was more. Oh, look who's back. The grave robber. Hey, Lois. So, what happened? You find your treasure? No. I realized something after you left. It's not the treasure that matters. All that really matters is the money you get in exchange for the treasure. I mad. I just kind of go nuts. Can you forgive me? Chris forgave me. I can't wait for you to fall asleep tonight. <laughs> Oh my God, that, that is so realistic. I can't 
can't wait for you to fall asleep tonight. Bruh. Of course I forgive you, Peter. So I guess everyone else came to their senses too, huh? Nah, they all ran off to McCoy Stadium. What? Why? What's at McCoy Stadium? Yeah, there was a clue at the graveyard. Here, I took a picture with my phone. No, it's their next... This can't be leading them to a baseball stadium. Baseball wasn't invented until the 1800s. Wow, you're really smart, Lois. You know, Peter, in the first eight minutes of Meg's play before I walked out, they said Miles... In the first eight minutes of Meg's play and before I walked out, I think I love brothers. Come on, bro. That's your old daughter, man. Come on, bro. Musket was a horrible drunk and a wife beater. So when it says hits misses, it might be talking about hitting Mrs. Musket. And he probably misspelled booze. Wait a minute. It's got to be an old bar, right? The clam's the oldest bar in town. <gasps> That must be where the treasure is. All right, let's you put some makeup on and get right down to the clam. Oh, no, they're closed. Hang on, I got an idea. But you have to believe. What? You have to believe. Say you believe. Uh Lois, I'm completely hammered every time I'm in here. Watch it be something gay like friendship or something. <laughs> gay! <laughs> friendship. Come on, Gabrielle Union, use condoms. We gonna edit that out. I don't need to know the sick shit that I'm into. Congratulations, you have won the Founding Father Restaurant Treasure Hunt Challenge. Expires May 16th, 2006. What year is it? It's 2013, Peter. The coupon's no good. It's fine. You know... What type of bullshit, bro? You mean to tell me I went on a treasure hunt and the treasure was a coupon? That sounds like some bullshit that would happen nowadays. You know what? That's why I don't never follow maps. Unless it's on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Because that... Let's me know exactly where the skating rink is. Doctor, what happened? Is he gonna be okay? Mrs. Griffin, your husband has had a stroke. The left half of his body is completely paralyzed. Oh my god! Peter, sweetheart, how do you feel? Oh! Uh, had better days, Lois. Had better days. <laughs> where? Well, I can't tell if it's him. I, I, I think he's wearing some kind of disguise. Oh my god, Dad! What do you think you're doing? Peter? Oh, Peter! I didn't say Peter, I said Dad! Oh. <laughs> Have you been spying on us the entire time we've been dating? Meg, it's only because I want to make sure this guy treats you right and doesn't try anything funny. Yes, what grace! And all because of a little upper lip hair. Lois, I am gonna grow a mustache. Then I'll have it made, like the Monopoly guy. Except when he goes directly to jail. I wish I could tell you that the Monopoly guy fought the good fight oh. and the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that. But prison is no fairy tale world. You know, you're a jackass. For the record, I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what, Brian? Over. I said I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what? You gotta finish your sentence. Over. That's it. My sentence is over. Your sentence is what, Brian? Over. My sentence is... Wait a minute. I have to say over even if the sentence ends with the word over? Ends with the word what, Brian? Over. Oh, I see the wire. You see the wire what? Over. Over! Is it? This is the evidence you've been looking for. If we can get you out of here, would you be willing to testify publicly about these atrocities? Oh, absolutely. But how do you intend to escape? You leave that to us. Come on! Hey! There they are! After them! Oh! How long have you been here? 7 a.m. All right, here's your hammer, here's your walkie, and here's your stud finder. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh, well, it's working. <laughs> All right, joke time is over. Work time has begun. You get started with this drywall, and I'm going to start pulling out those old floorboards in the kitchen. Hey, Brian. Knock, knock. Who's there? Two friends building a house together. You betcha, son. I'm going to make you some hash browns for breakfast, and then later I'm going to take you down to the whorehouse to lose your virginity. Would you like that? Would I? Wow, that's a way better present than that buff hamster you got me last Christmas.
Dad, all it's done is run on that wheel for the past three weeks. Yeah, looks like it's in pretty good shape. Can I pick it up? I wouldn't. Changes up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I, I want to be there for you, Meg. I love you. Will you marry me? Yes! Of course! Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. Here I am! We're playing Magic the Gathering. Want to join? Osama! <laughs> oh, man, that is karma. <laughs> And in here, we're test marketing a new mascot, Meaty, the quick to anger clown. Hey kids, oh. who likes McBurger Town burgers? I do! There was more to my question! <laughs> <laughs> I like I like that. Meaty, the quick to anger clown. Minute shouting, Wilma! I didn't hear you. Oh, there's no way you didn't hear me. I was in the shower. Oh, she was in the shower. The elephant's you trunk was on right full on blast. I couldn't hear you. And, you and besides, you're always All yelling you about do is something. Spend my money How on the hell am I supposed to know where to pay attention? But when I want to get my rugs off, you know where to be found, you passive aggressive <laughs> Oh man, this is this is a good one. This is good. Uh, can we get some salami and Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Ah, uh, scusi, Baba de Boopy? Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Baba de Boopy? Baba de Boopy, Baba de Baba de. Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. Boopy de Baba. Boopy baby boopy baba baby baba. Tu sei un pazzo, va bene da qui. Baby baba. Sono stanco di te. Ti un pugno alla testa. Tu giro con questa carne. Didn't we have an electrician in there today? Uh, he left. Uh, pretty sure he left. Isn't that his truck? Well, by God, Brian, we're murderers. I guess this means you'll be going to doggy hell. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's their fault I had a stroke, Brian. And I'm gonna sue him for it. Peter, you ate 30 hamburgers. It was your own fault. Yeah, besides, Peter, those companies have huge legal divisions. You can't fight that. I'll find a way. With the help of my snarky cat lawyer, Meowsy McDermott. You've got to be kidding me. Ha! On your ginormous ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Connie. Hi, Peter Griffin, Meg's father. Say, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, you see that fire extinguisher there? <laughs> <laughs> I love how no one even thought to like attempt to help or call the police. Word? <laughs> I take them to the park, or maybe a museum, and I only try to kiss them if they're ready. Woohoo! What? 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 What is it? What? What? Help out your mom and dad by getting a job so you can help pay for school supplies. Woohoo! Say ho! Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha <laughs> ha! Not getting an abortion. Well, I'm not saying an abortion per se, but maybe you just drink and smoke a lot. <laughs> just don't stop doing it and then chicken out halfway through the pregnancy, because then you wind up with. <laughs> I'm not saying getting an abortion. I'm just saying maybe start drinking and smoking a lot. Oh boy. Chris. Well, Lois, I got the cake. Oh, and uh, they were all out of the bride and groom figurines, so I got the Iron Giant and a courtroom doll that kids use to show where the molester touched them. Stroke! Stroke! Stop mocking me! Be protected! <laughs> oh boy! Like a rare gemstone or the herniated scrotum of an older gentleman. Well, I think you've been wonderful. Like when you took her to that new movie, I'm rich and you're poor, but let's dance together? I'm rich and you're poor. But let's dance together. Society won't like it. I don't care. Good for you. Good for you. 
No, with great mustache comes great responsibility. Hell it does. Damn that. Bless you, sir. You saved my life. But at what cost? At what cost? No. We're gonna use the lucky bride. Oh. What's your name, sweetie? Dad, you know my name. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Officer Nasty. Careful, I might be carrying a concealed weapon. Not, 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 not. It's Officer Nasty. There was... Oh. Like, this This only has 54 views, so it looks new, but I remember some of the clips. But I don't care. This is the funniest thing I've seen in, like, three months. <laughs> Officer Nasty. Uh, Lois? Yeah? Uh, Peter's getting in the car. Peter Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. I have not. Well, I haven't seen him since this morning, and I... What is that on your head? It's a mustache, Lois. What, you never seen a mustache before? Lois, would you mind calling the police or something? Quiet, mustache! Oh, my God. Peter, I know you're upset about losing that thing, but get a grip on yourself. Let Brian down. No, I'm not living my life without a mustache. Even if sometimes my mustache... Evidence to put you away. Starting by proving that you were on that cruise ship the night Lois disappeared. No, I wasn't. I was at the carnival with Rupert. Ah, oh, the carnival with Rupert. We won! We won! Do it again! Now I want a pink one! <laughs> Stewie, we've been playing for half an hour. Oh, okay. You want to go ride the tea bags? Teacups? Tea bags? Anything for you. You want to go out to Anal Point this weekend? See what all the buzz is about? Oh. M.G. That'd be so awesome. Sweet. We're gonna have a real raging time. Before you know it, we'll be like an old married couple. Why do I have to stay here? We just think you'll be safer. But my house is dry. Here's a blanket. If you're looking for a bathroom, it's all around you. Peter, you should really slow down. You've already had like 30 hamburgers. Shut up, Brian. It relieves the pain of mustachelessness. And it's working. I no longer feel the pain. Come to think of it, I can't really feel anything on the left half of my body. Really? That doesn't sound good. Peter, are you winking at me? <laughs> oh my god, someone call an ambulance! See, look, Maggie just walked out on you. He's a bad man. Like Jody Foster. Oh no, Jody, it's my husband. He's home from work early. Don't worry, baby. He had to find out sometime. Uh, Lois? You mind telling me what the hell you think you're doing? I'm handing you a beer. You are handing it to my stroke arm. This is my good arm. Bring the beer over here. That's better. All right, drunken clamors, this is it. The most important game of the season. Now, is everybody drunk? No. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, completely. Okay, good. And did nobody warm up? No, no. I did not warm up at all. Good, because there's nothing an unstretched middle-aged body likes more than explosive movements. Now, remember, we're here to impress the girlfriends of guys we barely know. So when you get the ball, throw it like a cannon. You must throw your arm out on every play. You know, Stewie, this is actually a good park. I've found a lot of old tennis balls here. Well, I don't care for this place. Last time I was here, I accidentally walked into a Spanish picnic. <laughs> Excuse me, has anyone seen a toy car around here? Ooh, it's baby. I make beautiful. Don't get any ideas about Julio. I'm his number one. No. <laughs> here comes Goldman's <laughs> Pharmacy. 
How you go? Eat? So immediately you get on the scene, and the first thing you get is pimped. Really, Chris? Really? Hey, Goldman's Pharmacy, can you fill out a prescription for us for diarrhea? We're about to get the runs. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, speaking of things that are brown and can run, meet our new teammate. What's up, fools? I'd like to dedicate my performance today to Miss Whitney Houston. Oh, we are Come on, Jerome. Get a hit so I can bring a sports trophy home for my parents. you like 45 and you still live with your parents? I'm at a loss for words. Are you having a nice morning, dear? Oh, yes. I love living here in the next town over. <laughs> All right, move it back. Move it back. Peter, why do you look so nervous? Yeah, I promised a kid in the hospital I'd hit a home run for him. Sorry, I struck out looking. Wait, you're not the kid, I promised. No, he died last night. Oh, phew. Oh! Ooh! <gasps> ooh! Horace, you okay? Well, somebody hide the body. Oh, my God, he's really hurt bad. You're out of the baseline, by the way. You're out. Game's over. But, oh, my God, Horace is really hurt. He's dead. <gasps> oh, no, my God. God. Ooh. Oh. I can't believe kill him. Horace is dead. I can't believe we left Brian in the car with the windows up. I'm gonna pee! Listen, I just feel awful about this. Horace was a good bartender and a good guy. I wish there was something I could do. Oh, we know you didn't mean it, Jerome. It's just a terrible situation. I'd just like to say that before today, I didn't know the Munsters were driving around in a funeral car. I'm beginning to think everything on that show was a big joke. I had, um, I just like, I, I, I just, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Quagmire. Perhaps there are some men who would like to say a few words. Oh! Horace owned the clam for over 30 years. During that time, he touched all of our lives. He was a great bartender and a great friend. And so let us take a look back on his life through this video. Uh. What the f Ouch. Is there a bathroom in here? I've been yo-yoing a turd for the last 20 minutes. Oh! Gotta love Family Guy's extremely specific wording on that one. Literally gotta. I've been yo-yoing. Oh, sorry. I was looking for the bathroom. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Ah. There you go. Now you're all set for your big day. Thanks. You know, I could use some part-time help here preparing the bodies if you're interested. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. How do you even get that job? I would, I would love to know. Meg, I'm needed upstairs, so I'll let you finish up. Just put some blush here and here. It makes the eyes look a little less dead and hollow. Wow, that really works. Hmm. Maybe I'll try that on myself. Oh, uh, oh. you have what we call a closed casket face. Oh! Hey, Meg, who's your date? He looks like a real stiff. <laughs> hey, look, this guy's picking his nose. <laughs> look, now he's eating it. Crap! Knock it off! You're gonna get me in trouble! Meg, they're dead. Would you stop being so uptight? You're like one of those Asian Americans who fought in Vietnam. Ah! Oh, it's just me. That's messed up. Even for Family Guy. 
Meg, the Dugan family called, and they now want Mr. Dugan in a gray suit for the wake tomorrow, because it so matters. Could you change his suit, please? Sure. I'll be back in a bit. Oh. My. God! All right, Chris. Where is it? So I borrowed your bra. My boobs hurt when I go down the stairs. No, not that, you idiot. Where is the dead body? I know you took it. And don't lie, or I'll tell Jennifer Connelly that you're the one who's been mailing her those dog heads. I used the body to get me into R-rated movies. After that, I took him swimming, and he fell apart. Chris, Mr. Dugan's wake is tomorrow, and there's going to be a body in that casket. If it's not his, it's going to be yours. Hey, guys, what's going on? And no one says anything, which means they hate it. Meg, the family's here for Mr. Dugan's wake, so could you please bring in the body? Meg, I'm not doing this. You have to, Chris. Siblings have to look out for each other, like the Mannings. Eli, you threw for three touchdowns today, which isn't bad, except Peyton had four. Well, Cooper got pre-approved for a Visa card today. Come on, guys, we all had a good day. Stop it! I haven't it! Just, uh, straightening out his pants a little. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Scratch it. Scratch it. Oh, thank you. Hello, I'm Helen Dugan. My husband had filled out an organ donor card before he passed away, and a woman just lost her face in a freak accident. Meg, though, you cannot tell I am frowning. You think it's cool to go... <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So drinking right after Horace's funeral? Of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all gotta move on, like the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm gonna turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. I'm sorry, but the drunken clam is permanently closed. Closed? That was the start of the dark times. The banks took our bars, our businesses, and then our homes. A change had to be made. A change only one man could make. No, no. I am the wind maker. No, oh! And I shoot monkeys now. No! What? Joni, Chris, welcome to the party. Can I offer you some punch? No, thanks. I had some in the car. Joni Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. Oh! And it really sucks they closed that. That is so mean! Joey Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. That was good. Down the clam. Yeah, but I mean, this is good, right? I mean, as long as we got a place to drink and a restroom for businessmen to have homosexual encounters. Hey, thanks no. for the sex. Thank you no. for notarizing those documents. No. Forget uh -uh. it, Peter. You're not turning our living room into a bar. Oh, come on, Lois. We gotta have a place to drink. Drinking is the only thing holding this friendship together. Everything we try to do sober just ends badly. I just don't think a good way to start a screenplay is 400 years ago in Bethesda, Maryland. Yeah, and don't you think it's confusing that every character in the movie is named Movie Guy? Come on, you guys, the Oscars are next week, so let's get this done. Peter, I thought you were taking us to a new drinking spot. What are we doing at the Clam? Look, guys, we tried other bars, we tried drinking at home, we even tried the big end-of-the-year high school party that will change everything. If we don't lose our virginity tonight, we're never going to make it in college. Hey, where's Peter? Only talking to Amanda Small, the hottest girl in school. <gasps> Jojo? Hi, Peter. But I thought... It definitely looks like a Jojo. I wouldn't want any parts of that. There's no telling if it is a man or female. The worst type of situation to be in. I'd say that from personal experience. Moving on. You was working on your garbage sculpture. There was someone I had to see first. Sorry, Amanda. By the law of 80s movies, a newly transformed tomboy supersedes your long-standing hotness. Uh. Let's face it. There's only one drinking spot for us, and it's the clam. But, Peter, it's closed. We can't go in there. Quagmire, when a girl says she doesn't want to have sex with you, do you take that as an answer? My lawyer has advised me not to answer that question. Look, I bet you could squeeze through that window. Come on, guys. This is trespassing, and it's against the law. Aww. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, no. I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. Oh. Not overly affectionate.
Our roots go back further than that. My grandfather used to bring me here when I was a kid, and his grandfather brought him here. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to the Drunken Clam. Can I get you boys a mug of stout? Oh, I certainly. This is a bully establishment you've got here. The doors are a little short, but that's okay, because we're smaller back now. I wake up with blood on my penis pillow. I'm going to go insane in a wheelchair, staring at the sea. This is everything about... It's a clam. I love it. Ah, I was just going to... That's exactly... Hey, I, I remember, I remember, I remember when... I remember when I remember when Quick Time here passed out in the in the booth. How do you get a nickname like Quick Time? I can only imagine it evolves a very unhappy female. Now I'm gonna tell you how I know, but I know. How damn almighty do I know? To the clown! Yo, you, what your hair looks stupid. All, all the greatest, all the greatest moments of my life I spent right here in the, in this booth. Maggie's first word, Bart jumping that canyon, Mr. Plow, all the greatest moments of my life. Joe, where's the, that thing? Where's the thing? Where's the catheter thing? No, it's mine. It's private. Hey, no, what happens don't. if I blow in this Please end? don't. Don't explode. I'm gonna. No! No! You do it better than Bonnie. They got me on that one. They got me. <laughs> it takes a man to know what a man likes. No! Oh, God. I am so hungover. Oh, me too. But luckily, when I'm hungover, I can just molt into another Peter. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah, but for the next ten minutes, I'll be very vulnerable to predators. <gasps> Mountain lion, make yourself look big! No! Hold it, hold it! What's going on? We're here to demolish this building by order of the bank. Like hell you are! Well, what are you talking about, Peter? We ain't going nowhere. This bar belongs to us. <gasps> Ice cream truck! You didn't get any ice cream? The ice cream man was handsome. I got nervous. Three local men have barricaded themselves inside a Quahog bar and are currently in a standoff with authorities. We now go live to Joyce Kinney, who attended her sister's wedding last night. Thanks, Tom. One of the suspects has been identified as Peter Griffin. But the real story is I'd be married, too, if I were willing to date a Persian. Guys, they found... Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, man. One can only hope that the woman who got married did not see that video because... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Found him. Don't bother with the posters. My God, what is Peter thinking? Yes, he's crazy as a serial killer. All right, listen up in there. Let's not make this any harder than it has to be. We have a lot of dumb cops here. Guys, this is crazy. Plus, I'm a cop. I can't be a part of this. Come on, Joe. This is our bar. It's where the three of us made that suicide pact that Quagmire and I are going to back out of at the last minute. I'm sorry, guys, but it's my job. I got a family to support. Officer, wait. I'm his wife. Give me that bullhorn. Peter, you get out here right now or else I'm throwing away all of them Mr. Potato Heads. I swear. It's okay. She only knows where the decoys are. Swanson, there you are. Listen, you hang out at this dump. I want you to go in there and end this thing. I'll do my best, sir. Look, they're sending Joe in. All right, listen up, fellas. Joe, wait. Put your gun down. There's no point in fighting anymore. We'll leave quietly. Like hell you will. This is our clam, and we are not going to let them take it. Yeah, all right, yeah. Joe, is this the same chief whose wife is a real hog? Swanson, don't be a fool. You really want to throw away your career on this? Guys, your bar is gone. And since it's bank property, I have no choice but to place you all under arrest. It ain't bank property no more. I'm responsible for Horace's death. 
Plus, as a former athlete, it's my responsibility to invest my earnings in a restaurant, bar, or car dealership. What sport did you play? Lacrosse, which is also my brother's name. Look, I felt bad about what I did to Horace, so when I heard on the news that they were tearing down this bar, I saw buying it as a way to carry on Horace's legacy. So I own the club now. Hey, hey. We pulled it off, guys! Oh, thank God! And all because I believed in myself, like Pop-Pop always said. Please, give me rat poison. I want only to die. No, oh. we did it, Pop-Pop. Boy, eight months on patrol and nothing. You know, Rupert, I miss the Earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out in space. Uh-oh, Rupert, we've got company. And I don't think it's the Avon lady. Strap yourself in. No matter what happens, it's been a privilege to serve under you. Is it just me or do those look like balls? balls? That's not better. It's, it's even worse. It's Peter's balls. And they're not even attached to a scrotum. That's how you know you need to lose weight. We get lost. Daddy's trying to watch the ball game. You can't talk. I've knocked out your communication systems. Hey, hey, look, Stewie. Rupert wants to go play down in the basement. Hey, hey, Stewie, I'm gonna go play down in the basement. Rupert? Oh, there you are. Wow, look at all the old stuff down here. I'd have locked the door in his little ass. Hello, what's this? What I Learned on Jefferson Street, written by H. Brian Griffin. <laughs> oh, yes! I had an idea for a script once. It's basically Jaws, except when the guys in the boat are going after Jaws, they look around and there's an even bigger Jaws, so the guys have to team up with Jaws to get bigger Jaws. I call it Big Jaws. God, I haven't looked at this in years. I don't even remember if it's any good or not. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. You should look at it. <laughs> oh, man. So, have you read the script yet? Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. I haven't gotten around to it. You know, I'll just leave it for you right here. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Hey, you know what I'll do to make it even easier? I'll just go ahead and place this in your hand. And there we are. And now when you go, oh, where's that crazy pen? Well, there it is. It's in your hand. Brian, I'm not going to read this with you standing here. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind. Brian, your script... Trash. It was enchanting. This Brian Griffin? I've never met this Brian Griffin. I would have told you last night, but I was 100% sure you ripped it off. But after spending the last 18 hours on the internet and in libraries trying to find traces of it somewhere, I couldn't find a thing. Dear Diary, still no sign of that tampon from last week, but the headaches are getting worse. No! No! Oh! No! Oh! Oh! No! Oh! Oh! I have too much of a vivid imagination, bro. I'm just like, how, how do you lose? What would you do with it? As a you lost it on the inside. You was playing slip and slide is what you was doing. I was playing duck, duck, goose with your own ducks. I'm not sorry for the image that all of you are getting. Huh? Playing hide and go seek with her own vagina. <gasps> Chris, what are you doing? Give me that. <laughs> Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. Is he breathing? It, it looks like it. That's a good sign, right? <laughs> Ooh! Ryan, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to be blunt with you. Yeah? We love this pilot! 
Oh my god. <laughs> god. Oh, don't worry, Mom. We'll bring him down. Anything I can do to make your life a little easier. Wow, you could always grab the vacuum and clean up the living room floor. Oh, sure. I'll take care of that. Are you, uh, running off to your job? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my little cowboy. Come on, Stewie. Up in your high chair. Boy, he must be starving. <laughs> yep, he's really chowing down. Hey, how's the food, Stewie? Oi, blimey, it's a right thing. This is how I do the clay. Brian, have you decided who's going to star in your show? You know who'd be good? Big Jaws. Well, actually, in my mind, there's only one actor who could do this role. Elijah Wood. Oh, Elijah Wood. I got a little bit of a crush on him, I have. Oh, oh, look, Lois, wishbone. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yes! I got five seconds. No, really, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Todd Goldstein, Senior Executive of Programming here at the Network. We are so happy to be working with you. I hope you brought the magic wand you wrote this with. Yep, it's right here. Watch, I'll turn this beautiful princess into a toad. Bing! A ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, I can tell this is going to be a fun process. So you know what? Keep your chromium and magnesium because I discovered a much more precious element. I discovered Dadmium. Wow. Does that audition come with a box of tissues? That was a great read. Thanks, everybody. I mean, come on, how great is he? Hey, science face, I got an F for you. It stands for oh, oh, there it is. Hey, and guess what? I discovered a new element. <laughs> Okay, thanks a lot, everybody. I gotta go. I got some school bus seats to sniff. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, that, I need some time to digest that one. Who sniffs school bus seats? Who sniffs seats? Does that do anything for somebody? I couldn't think of anything that would... Make sure that you're not going to get sex with that person as much as if you sniff their seat when they got up. I can assure you it's almost as bad as a female telling you she's pregnant, even though you've never had sex with her. Just going to act like I didn't say that one. I'm going to edit that one out. I know, I know. But what if he wasn't? What? But he is. Mm my God, this is a nightmare. I, I thought you said you weren't going to mess with my show. It's a small change, Brian. You won't even notice it. You guys aren't going to believe this. Call a tow truck. I just banged into some homo's Prius. Well, we thought it would be a lot funnier if it was a sitcom. It's, it's, it's not supposed to be funny. It's a serious drama about a single father raising his four-year-old daughter. Oh, right. That's the other thing. Now, this is just a thought, but we're doing it. She's 18. What? It was James Woods' idea, and we thought it was just the right hook. Maybe we should take him to the hospital. I think the maggots have evolved to the point that they've developed space travel. We just gotta clean the wound, Meg. Hey, hand me that scrub brush. Hey, Chris. Hey, hey, Dad. Good, Chris. I've taught you well. You got the right instincts. When you were babies, I used to knock you kids out every month or so. Sometimes by accident, sometimes when the Patriots lost. You just gotta cover it up and eventually it all works out. Meg, this is a list of hats. I need these by 4 o'clock. Good idea. One of those hats would have helped him at the park today. Chris, did you put a coonskin cap on Stewie? No. Why? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not the title. It's called What I Learned on Jefferson Street. Yeah, it didn't make a lot of sense now that he lives on Boner Street. And action! Okay, Hillary, you know the vet. You have to sleep with the next guy that walks through that door. Got it. Dad? Hillary? With my chimp sidekick? Brian, they love it. Wh what is this? This isn't my script. What the hell did you do to it? And I've got great news for you. We just got an email from the network heads. They want to pick up class holes for 22 episodes. Really? Yeah, aren't you thrilled? I, uh... I'm not sure. Are you kidding? I'm so excited. From the first time I read that script, I just knew it was going to make it on TV. I could see it. Well, yeah, I mean, but the real victory is just having a show make it to TV. I mean... Oh, oh look, everybody, it's starting. 
What a pain in my class. Now everyone's doing the Charleston. <laughs> Not everyone. Someone's doing the monkey. Mr. Nubbins! Well, if you can't beat him... So, uh, what'd you guys think? Well, yeah. You son of a bitch! Oh, it's a travesty! Oh, I will Stop tell you! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get, 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 get him out of here! Get him out of here! Come on, go! Get, no, 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 okay, come on! Guys, keep his anus above his head! Okay, okay, okay. all right, all right. Okay, careful, 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 Peter. Okay. 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 You had a vision, and you let them change it because you didn't believe in yourself. Oh, was, what was I gonna do? It was either do it their way or get canceled. Well, at least then you would've had your integrity. Byron wants to do right by his... People are stupid. Trust and believe all that integrity stuff does not come into play when you're homeless. It's either be poor and having... It's either be poor and, you know, have your integrity or be rich and... If you want to make a bunch of money, you're usually going to have to do something you don't want to do. You know what I mean? Ask prostitutes. Is that out? Daughter, and I think that everyone can relate to that. That's what America wants to see. The simple love within a family that conquers all and makes no. life worth living. No. What if I'm a cop and the chimp is my reincarnated partner? Yes! That's perfect! See? That's relatable. How the hell is that relatable? All right, he's not waking up. I think we got to take these bandages off and see what we're dealing with here. Oh my god! Stewie! Oh god, what have I done? Looks like you ran over him, Lois. Oh no! He's unconscious! Peter, Peter, we have to cover this up. Yeah, but... what? Well, Brian, I'm proud of you. You went in there and you stood up for what you believed in. Yeah, now I don't have a TV show anymore. Oh, who cares about that? You made the right choice for your own integrity, and that's what matters. Well, I suppose you're right. And hey, at least I've got something on the air. I mean, not everyone can say that. <coughs> oh my god, now we have a common enemy. We have to work together. I already got a sequel in mind. It's called Way Bigger Jaws. Hey, I just found out it's November. What the f happened? Wow, Jerome, the place looks great. Yeah, look at you owning a bar. You guys are doing pretty good. First you get to run Somalia, now this. Well, it sure is good to be back in the old clam. Hey, there's some guys sitting in our booth. Maybe we should tell them it's our booth. Uh-huh. Or, or we could just sit on the floor next to these garbage cans. White guys scared of every race. You know what? Beal Farms. House at Ching, yeah. eh? Come on, let's go, Brian. I'm gonna get revenge, just like I did against that pigeon that crapped on my car. Ah! That's right. Get it nice and clean. <laughs> Daddy, I want to turn on the swing set. I think every person who owns a car wishes that they could poop on a bird's car. Revenge is a dish best served after eating a whole lot of hot Cheetos and then defecating said hot Cheetos onto your enemy's vehicle. It's been scientifically proven. Don't ask me where though. I won't, I can't prove it. No! But you've gone for two turns! Get lost! It looks like fun and I want to do it! No, I'm doing it! I'm gonna do a big jump off! <laughs> ah! Get mom! 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 Eh. Ah! 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 Why did the say not an exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door! Ah! Ah! Turn to damn nature, you- I didn't know this would be this funny. Okay. Oh, scary on BET. Damn, look at that son bitch go. He hauling ass. 
That thing come by my house, I kill it. That little rat-looking thing just got eight. Damn, nature, you scary. Psychic, she can tell you what you were in a past life. I already know what I was, a strawberry. Ah, it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm, I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, wait, hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! Ah, 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 ah. He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Hey, Brian? Yeah? Oh, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, there's glass in my eye! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah, Mom oh. says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people, I don't know why. Oh, my God! I love Family Guy. Oh, really, Lois? I thought I might drive forward. I thought that, that might be a fun thing to do. Stop fighting! Oh, my God, quick! Peter, get in the back! <laughs> oh, thank God. We made it. Oh, oh ow, my neck. You backed into me, and, and now... Oh, and I'd have beat his man us up. Ah, for I'd have fought him. I'd have beat his man us. I wish, man. Your back and my back, my back. Yes. Oh. Is it bad that I have family members who do that? Like when I was younger, just. Try to make ends meet by suing people. I'm not sorry. We we got to go to Toys R Us uh, a, good, a good amount. We got a lot of shopping sprees at Toys R Us as a child. I'll just, I'll just say that. I love you. Fuck off. Peter, oh. hurry up. You're missing dinner. Lois, what the hell? Hey guys, this is driving me nuts. Was one of the dwarves named Snappy? Kind of well dressed, or am I, am I just making that up? Oh, 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 fuck! Fucking cock! Fuck! Cock! Cock! Oh my god, Dad! Dad, are you okay? Damn it, I hate these new stairs. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'll just, I'll, I'm just gonna lie here until the pain goes away. Peter, come downstairs. That gay show you like is on. It's coming. Stewie, I need your help. Bruh, if you, if stairs is whooping your ass that bad, man, maybe you ought to just get a room on the first floor. How, maybe, maybe sleep in your downstairs bathroom from time to time. I don't know, maybe take up a couch in the garage. I, stairs, that's rough. Look, what is it? I have a crisis situation here. Kate wants me to meet her parents. Hey, guys. I'm just gonna, gonna take this. Thank you. What the hell am I gonna do? All right, all right, just calm down. Calm down? We're all supposed to have dinner tomorrow night, and her parents are gonna see that I'm a dog. Yeah! Ow! Oh, no! Yeah! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Fucking cock! Fuck! 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 Don't worry, Brian. I I don't even know why that's so funny. I don't. But it is. <laughs> I can watch Peter falling down the stairs all day long. I'll come up with something. 
This whale's beached himself. He needs to get back in the water or he'll die. Step aside. I'll handle this. Give me some room. I, I, I think I, I remember this. No! Come. <laughs> oh, cool shell. Well, we'll see about that. I ain't afraid to stand up to friends. Just ask Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That guy's Spartacus. Do it. Do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Ah, oh, yes! Yes! Ah, oh, you bitch! Ah! You gotta ask yourself one question. Dude, what? <laughs> what is... What is this? What? What in God's name, man? Who's writing this? Who is coming up with this? What what type of what type of nasty Oh bruh Dude I, Oh man Bruh I'm done man Do it do it come on do it do it do it Ah oh, yes Yes Ah oh, you bitch Ah You gotta ask yourself one question Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Oh, Mr. Harry, you're really not gonna... Stewie Griffin, scientist, inventor, infant, searching for a way to tap into the hidden strengths that are... And now, whenever Stewie Griffin grows angry or outraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs. The creature is driven by rage and pursued by an investigative reporter. I used to watch this show as a kid, that's why it's so funny to me. They ain't shit for this! ...think that he is dead, until he can find a way to control the raging spirit that dwells within him. I... I shall cherish this forever! I say, Opie, I'll trade you this baseball for your souvenir bat. Sure! <laughs> what did you learn? Get out of the f***! Oh, 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 do it! Don't do it! We all know why that's funny, and none of us are proud of it. Ow, what? Push him down no. on the off floor. What are you doing? He really I don't want to do this. Now put your pinky in his butt. Oh. Ah. 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 Why do women think that's funny? That makes no sense. All right, I guess this is the night bitches die. All I'm saying is that you just need to find an activity that you and Stewie can share. Oh, Peter, can you reach that box of rice? Ow! Oh, sorry, Lois. <laughs> oh, oh, that rice got you, bitch. <laughs> hey, Stewie's laughing. Hey, you think that's funny? Hey, you like that? Hey, hey, Lois, you want some beans with that rice? Ow! <laughs> oh, oh, I misjudged you, fat man. Damn it! Peter, what's wrong with you? Wait, 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 Lois, Lois, don't move. Stewie's loving this. <laughs> oh, see if she's got any cash on her. <laughs>
Okay, Stewie, get the camera ready. I'm doing. I'm bonding with Stewie. <laughs> there is nothing more precious than a baby's laugh. <laughs> Jeez, I hope she can get out. No, I'm sure she'll be fine. Hey, Brian, can I have some wheat thins? What? Can I have some wheat thins? They're wheat thins. That's what I said, wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying wheat thins. Say wheat. Wheat. Now say wheat thins. 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 No, you can't have any. Have any what? Have any wheat thins? It's wheat thins. Wheat thins. Wheat thins. Can I be in your commercial? No. no. It's our thing. We're doing it. Oh, you know, this is why... You, Brian, you remember the last couple of weeks I kept saying... That was funny. Just not funny enough. Can I have a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. Look, I, wait, what? This evening is ruined. The whole evening is ruined. Why are you saying it like that? Saying what? I'm just pointing out the party's ruined. You know what? I'm not going to get sucked into this. Okay, just so I'm sure. Really? Are, are you just trying to piss me off, or is that really how you say that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this ruined evening. That's not how you say ruined. What? Ruined? What do you call the remains of ancient Greek structures? Ruins. And how would you describe this evening? Well, ruined, of course. This evening is ruined. Say ruined. 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 Dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. <laughs> Okay, Brian, the key to these things is to find a good position to sit on the ground. Yeah, cool. I got that blanket from your trunk. Oh, yeah, the old scratchy trunk blanket. Bring it, use it once, then put it back in the trunk for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is already hurting my hip. We could probably just stand. No, no, we got the blanket. All right, let's try sideways on the elbow. It, ow, no, that hurts. It, scratchy blanket. Okay, all right, let's try sitting on my knees. Okay, that's good. It, no, uh, uh Lean back on the palms until they get weird creases. Uh, no, all the way back. Oh, flat back, craning to look up. Terrible. Uh, balls of feet butt hover like a Chinese guy. Uh, no, all right. Standing it is. I gotta tell you, Bri, I am a big fan of sundresses. Oh, yeah, every woman looks good in a sundress. Yeah, just waiting for a big gust of wind, right? Huh? Good gust of wind, see a couple of fannies, yeah? Give them a little bare hand slap, a little cup, yeah, that's what we're here for. Okay, Stewie. Yeah, just give it a little test tap, see where she's at, and you're pushing all up on that fanny. Oh, Stewie. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Who's this Stewie, huh? Yeah, I'll tell you who this Stewie is. This is day drinking Stewie, on the patrol for fannies. Fanny! Yeah, fanny! What are you looking at? What was that? <gasps> oh my god! I knew this day would come! Rupert, we're under attack by monsters! Dear god! Oh, but wait, there's Superman! He'll save us! Superman! Superman! Wait, 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 where are you going? Well, to hell with him! We'll have to deal with these marauders ourselves! Rupert, man your station! All right, you undead bastards. Time to send you back to hell. Dark. So dark. Hey, Stewie, you all set to go trick-or-treating? Whoa, what the hell are you doing? We're under attack, Brian! By zombies and vampires and a Mexican princess! Stewie, those aren't monsters. They're kids. They're trick-or-treaters. Trick? 
or treaters. Yeah, it's what kids do on Halloween. They, they dress up in costumes and they go around asking for candy. How do you not know about trick-or-treating? Well, how do you not know that your reflection in the patio door isn't another dog? Hey, that guy's a dick. Hey, get out of here! This is my house! <laughs> He really went in on dude though. He really went in on dude. That's my house. No. That guy's a dick. Hey, get out of here. This is my house. Oh my god, Brian, what happened? Who did this to you? Did you do this? You son of a bitch. They belong together. That's real. Match made in heaven. Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Oh. God, it's so hot. Uh, Brian, spit on me. Oh, that's nice. Now tell me I'm scum. Yeah! Uh. Uh, okay, now that doesn't count as laugh. I held it in even though it sounded ugly. How will that cool you off? Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. Brian, spit on me. Oh, that's nice. Now tell me I'm scum. How will that cool you off? Mm hmm? <laughs> Brian, did you see Revenge of the Sith? Yeah, I saw part of it. Why does Emperor Palpatine have a desk? Huh? In that scene where Yoda comes in and they're about to have that big fight, Emperor Palpatine clearly gets up from his desk. I mean, I'm just saying, what does he, what does he need a desk for? Who the hell cares? I'm just saying, it's weird. I mean, I mean, what, like, what was he doing at his desk, like, right before Yoda walked in? What was he doing? Was he doing paperwork? Was he like, oh, Yoda, what do you need, and will it take longer than five minutes? I am absolutely swamped. These requisition forms for new TIE fighters have to be down to Debbie in accounting by six, or Newt Gunray is going to pitch a tent in my waiting room. And I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be $60. Cut it out! I'm just trying to live my life! No one taught me about carbs! It goes... Wank! The cow goes... Shazoo! It most certainly does not! The rooster goes... Kikriki! Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Macaque! No, 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 it does not! The elephant goes... Fwomp! Mm, yeah, kinda. Well, let's see what fascinating pubescent treasures Chris has got hidden away. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks... Ah, ah, oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! You can't hurt anyone anymore. Man, vaginas are painful. I... Sign me up for that ass whooping. And all the juice is being collected underneath? Yes, and whoever collects the most is going to win a free weekend here at the Chateau with international foods and wine tasting. Stop! Oh! Oh! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk, it's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now.
pregnant. You... you what? Yeah. We're in the middle of a thing here. Well, you didn't return any of my texts. So, what, what, so what's going on? You, you, you want, like, a, a ride to the place? Peter, what's going on? What's going on, Lois, is that this girl is obviously not well. And I have just learned that she's been stealing from the show and she should probably be escorted out of the building. That's how you get out of that. You know what? Security. <laughs> no! Hold it! Stop! I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just looking for the can. Get move! Hold it! Free! Stop! Wait! No! Oh, for God's sake, why? This is why! Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Hiroshimase! Hajime Mashte! Here comes a black guy! <laughs> it's only funny because it's true! Ha <laughs> ha, no you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. Ah, 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 no, stop. I'm saying no. Ah, what kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me what? <laughs> it's making me watch. Oh, my God. Sorry, sir. There's a weight limit on this coaster. Oh, really? What's the limit? The rule is you can't look hilarious on this motor scooter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, there's just no way. Yeah! Nice hit! Frozen rope! Awesome! What just happened? Crown rule double! Woo! I couldn't even see it! Yeah, it was something! Ducks on a pond! Let's bring him in! Could you please sit down? I am sitting down! You sit up! I am sitting up, but I still can't see a thing! Yeah, sounds like a you problem. Let's go, Socks! Air West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. Guys, we're under attack! By who? I don't know! Oh, it's Cobra. Oh, of course. Look, they have the pictures of the snakes on their planes. Duke, what have I been saying for years? What makes a good terrorist organization? Brand recognition. Brand recognition. Hey, baby, do those legs go all the way up? Why, yes, they do. Ah! Oh, my God, you're a monster! Come back! My legs are shaved like a little girl! Didn't laugh. Five laughs and I lose, because I'm too easily pleased, you know what I'm saying? That's what she needs to be saying. But, <laughs> five laughs and I lose, so I left once, so I got four left. Hey, isn't it time for me to get a haircut? Oh, no. I think you just got one. Are you sure? Because I feel like my nails are really long. Yeah, yeah I'll check, but I'm pretty sure it's not for another couple of weeks. <clears throat> what day is this? So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Ew. Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 bitch! That's not a laugh. But God, jeez, if I wasn't close. You're so pretty, I miss you! Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me... Please don't pour it on your hands and then pick it off. Because if he does that, then it might be funny enough to make me laugh. Because I used to do that all the time as a kid. My finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. See poor people doing this! Hey there, young one. Why so sad? It's just that I really like this boy, but his dad. Whoop, look out. Ah! Sorry there. 
Didn't realize how long it had been since old Dumper did his business. He'll be done soon enough. Oh, maybe not. Doesn't sound like pooping, does it? <laughs> Sounds more like someone dropping sandwiches off a rooftop. Watch out below. What the hell is that? Holy crap! Who did this? Yeah? Have the chef prepare a bucket of your finest caviar, and then give it a helicopter tour of the city. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. I hope it enjoys it as much as that main lobster I ordered. And over there is the Rhode Island State House, the second largest self-supporting marble dome in North America. Why the f am I doing this? I could have just said I did it. All right, men, this is it. Technology versus old-timey wooden stuff. Let's hit them hard. What, again, was the nature of your beef with them? I don't know, something about a roller coaster. Let's go! Marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. Apples, fire! Quilters, advance! You are right. I am deeply ashamed. I only wanted to protect you. I know you did, Father. Kiss, 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 kiss! <sighs> this, I found it in the yard. A tennis ball. That's very impressive, Brian. Yeah, but don't tell the other dogs in the neighborhood. They'll be jealous. You son of a bitch. Cutaways. Oh my god, is that what we did back then? Yeah, I mean, now we just, like, return text messages and screw around and whatnot. Lois, I'm not going... Yes, I got two left. <sighs> There's still five minutes left. I don't got this. I got... I, I believe in me... Back to work tomorrow. That new boss has it in for me. He's meaner than a shifty salesman. You sure you got time to smoke? Oh yeah, it's an Al Harrington. It goes on for a while. <laughs> well, this has given me a lot to f last time I'll ever see you. Bye. You should have ordered from Hurry Up Shrimp. Hurry Up Shrimp? Well, that just sounds fast. On average, Americans spend upwards of 50,000 hours waiting for shrimp over the course of their lives. When I heard that, I thought to myself, why on earth don't these guys just hurry up? So that's just what we did. Come on, come on! No way this is the shrimp. Wow, it is! Hurry up shrimp, hurry up shrimp, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up shrimp. Not responsible for undercooked shrimp. So you die as fast as you got the shrimp. Well, better not leave a tip. <laughs> All right. Wag my look out! Oh no! Jeez, that was a close one. Yeah, but at least nobody got hurt. Goldman's Pharmacy. Now that could be a good place to get new shoes for my dog. What? It's always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! I'm Bob Costas, here with Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? I'll tell you, Bob, I just got in my car and drove it. And when there was a guy in my way, I killed him. 
Still haven't lost. Got two more left. Joe? Hi, Peter. But I thought you was working on your garbage sculpture. There was someone I had to see first. Sorry, Amanda. By the law of 80s movies, a newly transformed tomboy supersedes. My kids gave me that Father's Day gift. Oh, look, a tie. Perfect. It's from all of us. Uncomfortably hot 18-year-old girls. Honey, where are you off to? To the car wash to raise money for our new soccer uniforms. Okay, have fun. Nickelodeon, casually ask your daughter what that girl's name is, then take your laptop into the bathroom. It's only funny because it's true. Lois, meat, cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, hey, butter. Some guys like butter. God. All right, boys, go get him over there. And now, please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. I got one laugh left and one minute left. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to lose this shit so bad. Just wanted to remind you fellas what you're all fighting for. Come on, let's head... Like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. <laughs> I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah, what the f***? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> hey, you guys, Lois says it's time for dinner. Dinner. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Sir, how does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism. And, <laughs> and if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. No way! My wife messed around with another chick! Thank you, God! Don't mention it, Peter. God! He knows what turns you on. Have fun. Remember, I can see now there's going to be a difficult one. Remember when I dated the Count? One nipple. Uh, 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 uh. Two nipples. Uh, 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 uh. Three nipples. Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. Uh, Odds uh, are that baby's uh, going to be. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, was not a laugh. Shit. We're just going to give me the benefit of the doubt and say that wasn't a laugh chromosomally damaged like those cats you see in the Special Animal Olympics. What the? Naga! So, Whiskers, how does it feel to finally win your event after years of training? Yum, 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 yum. Ozone? Turbo? Do your thing! Oh, no. Lois, those are 90s black guys. Those aren't 80s black guys at all. Run! We're here to dance for the kids. Run, 80s black guys! You're no match for the 90s black guys! <gasps> okay, thanks. That's very helpful. You'll be a wonderful lover, Brian. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, you, you just had a little, uh, something. That's what's good in the streets? Really? Oh, this is gonna be great! We'll stay up late, trade stories... <gasps> Ooh, let's watch the video of my ballet recital. Here it is! <gasps> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
She's so unloved, even her stuffed animals won't play with her. Oh. What's funny is it's like that in real life too. Like if you hit somebody up and you want to hang out with them too much, they just will not show up. Sunshine Bear, wait. Barbie doll that I got for Christmas this year. She comes with a hairbrush, a pocketbook, and two different dresses. Oh my god, who the hell cares? How dare you? So everybody just gets to stick their big chef spoon into my comedy gumbo, eh? What a no deal! You know something? I like your passion. Okay, we'll do the show, and we'll do it your way. No. Alright, so I got four left. Or three. Definitely one of them. Family Guy is always the hardest for me. They're too good with their jokes. The cast and I would be happy to answer a few questions. Oh, yes, so many questions. Me, me, Mr. Stewart, 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 Yes, you there. Oh. Man, this chocolate bar is delicious. Oh, yeah, I love peanut butter. I'm Officer Reese's. What happened here? He got peanut butter on my chocolate. He got chocolate in my peanut butter. Hey, pal, watch my seat. I gotta bleed the lizard. Public urination is just wrong. Except during the Million Man March when protesters burned out porta potties. Then I used my stream of justice to put out the hate. What was actually happening? Hey. You were lying? You weren't feeling sick? I don't understand. Why did you want me to do this? <laughs> what? He was in on it? It was just a prank? You guys are gross! You see that, Brian? That's going to be all pieces later, right? Irrational and emotionally fragile by nature, female co-workers are a peculiar animal. They are very insecure about their appearance. Be sure to tell them how good they look every day, even if they're homely and unkempt. You're doing a great job, Muriel, and you're prettier than Mamie Van Doren. And remember, nothing says good job like a firm open palm slap on the behind. Don't take that advice, people. Your ass gonna end up with allegations like Nelly. Even though all the charges got dropped. Well, Peter, it sounds like you should go. I think a better joke would have been allegations like Morgan Freeman. Go out and co-mingle amongst your newly found brethren. You know, absorb the culture. Wheelie time! <laughs> You're right, Cleveland. I should be hanging around more black people like myself. Thanks. Hey, Peter, what the... It's the vibration. Go, fellow canine. Be free and enjoy life. Maybe that's why he was tied up. <laughs> oh man, I don't even feel bad about laughing at that one. All right. No, no, not all right. Everybody, I'm home from work. My God, Peter, you wore those pajamas to your... I don't think I'm gonna make it, bruh. I think Family Guy trying not to laugh challenges have to be 10. Hey, at least I'm mixing it up a little bit. Oh, green shirt, tan pants. That's refreshing. Oh, boy, does it feel good to undo my butt flap. Ew, Dad, we don't want to sit here and look at your ass. Yes, I'd rather look at Meg toweling off after a shower when she does that butt floss thing. Ew. Ew, that's so disgusting. Uh, 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 I hope I don't ever accidentally use that towel. Uh!
Lois, I have never been more comfortable as a person than I am in these feety pajamas. Oh, warm and furry. This is what it feels like to be a bear. You remember what I used to say, Lois, when we first got married? You remember? I used to say, what would it feel like to be a bear? Well, this is it. This is it. I'm living it, baby. No, you're not. You've been wearing those things for three days. You can wear them to bed, but tomorrow we're getting rid of them. <sighs> Fine. Screw up all my fuzziness. <coughs> what the hell was that? <coughs> oh, my God. Lois, don't get alarmed, but I think I might be Jesus. I'm Jesus. Peter, that's a static shock. Your pajamas created a charge of electricity when you dragged your feet across the carpet, and when you touched Chris, you passed it on. Kneel before Christ! Ah! <laughs> dad! I am not your dad! I am Electric Man! <laughs> Peter? I know you're in here. Yes, I am, Lois. But where? Peter, if you shock me, I swear to God I'm leaving you. You'll have to find me first, Lois. Where could I be? Well, there's a Quonset hut that I've never seen in this room before. I gotta figure you're in there. How do you know, Lois? I could be in that New York-style magazine kiosk. Peter, this all looks very expensive. Yes, you might say it was shockingly expensive. I'm gonna try the Quonset hut. I was in the bathroom, the hut and the kiosk. Decoys, Lois. Decoys! Duh. At. Dot. Buh. Et. Bet. Bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Huh. It. Pit. Pit. Uh, come on, pal. It's my first day. Uh. At. Fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. <laughs> One. Uh, 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 uh. Two. Ah, 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 ah. Three nip. Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. Ah, geez, what the hell, Brian? I can't take it anymore. Message for Brian Griffin. <laughs> I lost my ass gambling. Have you seen it? Leave me alone, you jerk. Stewie, you gotta help me. Peter just won't let up with the nudity. Well, you know how the fat man operates. He won't stop unless he's stopped. The only way you're going to end this is if you find a way to even the score. You've got to be nude. Stewie, I am nude. I'm just covered with fur. Well, shave it off. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Maybe you're right. I, mean, I gotta do something. This is just one of those things he won't let up with. Hello? Cynthia, oh my god, so good to hear from you. Sure, I can talk. I'm just sitting out here in the open. <laughs> my car? It's a Prius. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm specifically a hero for driving one. The heroes are the ones who come back from Iraq and drive a Prius. Gotcha! What the hell? Hey, you looking for me? What the... Oh, God! What the hell is that? What's wrong? You look uncomfortable. Here, let me give you a hug. Yeah, get away from me, you gremlin! <laughs> oh, no! Why don't you rub my belly, pal? <laughs> Your skin is so loose and wrinkly. It's like I'm just pushing around a plastic bag full of chicken bones. <laughs> Why do you have so many nipples? You gonna put your clothes on? Yes, yes, I swear. You gonna keep them on? Yes, I promise. I'll never bother you again with my body. Please, just make this stop. Good. Yeah, can you give me a ride to the... Yeah! What is that thing? <laughs> That's like one of the only ways to stop somebody from doing stuff like that to you is to do it back to them way worse than they were doing to you. To you. That's real talk. Yes? Hello, Peter. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. Anyway, I thought him sharing that beer with me was the coolest thing ever. And I know nowadays things are different, so I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. <sighs> that feels... That feels better.
You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm gonna take a hike. Don't do drugs, kids. So, you gonna introduce me to your pals? That's Trapjaw, that's Optimus Prime, that's Destro, and that's a Care Bear. You having a tea party? No, we're working out a land deal. Trapjaw is trying to get a variance to build an unpermitted structure within 10 feet of Optimus Prime's property line. Destro is the city councilman who's telling Trapjaw that he has to file it as an accessory structure, and even then it can only be built at the rear of the lot. And the Care Bear is just a Care Bear. I am so f***ing ready. World of books. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. You think it's easy working all day? No, You I, think I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, I, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You, you ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not in front I don't want to hurt you. you I'm sure there's two sides to this. I had to hold that one in, but it didn't laugh. I'm sure there's two sides to this. Stop looking so depressed, Brian. I'm sure one day you'll meet a girl who. I got one laugh left, yo, and like two more minutes of video to go. Loves abortion as much as you do. That's not the point, Stewie. I'm just tired of every girl I meet being crazy. Oh, things will work out for you. Now come on, let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Ooh, the very horny caterpillar. Wow, did you eat through all that food? Kinda. All right, you guys, I got eight crates of Epicac from Mort, all on my tab. Now, whoever goes the longest without puking gets the last piece of pie in the fridge. Okay, here we go. How's everybody doing? Good, good so far. All right, all right. Nothing yet. Cool, cool. You know, I, I don't know if you guys had any of that pie already, but that is, uh, that is some tasty stuff. That's from the, uh, bake sale that Lois was... Ooh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any... I'm starting to feel funny. Well, I feel fine. I guess I'm gonna... Oh, boy! That means I win! I get to eat... Oh, oh God! Why didn't anybody tell me? Oh my God! My insides are on fire! No, no, please, no more, no more! Dad, I'm scared. Get the phone. Call 911. Lois, 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 get in here! Okay, okay. I think it's all gone. I think it's... I don't want it. I don't want it. Man. Peter, Peter, I need you to hold my ears. Oh, oh. Who wants chowder? Hola. Uh, me, me amo es Brian. Uh, oh, well, let's see. Uh, nosotros queremos ir con ustedes. Yeah, that was pretty good. But actually, when you said me amo Ace Brian, you don't need the Ace. Just me amo Brian. Oh, you speak English? No, just that first speech and this one explaining it. You... you're kidding, right? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't count, does it? There was only one. No! Oh, you know, I, actually, I, I think I'm gonna be okay. Oh, Jack, now we can get married and everything you promised. Yeah, about that. Uh, I was pretty sure I was gonna die. Uh, cause actually th there's this girl in New York and it's, it's getting kind of serious, but, you know, thanks for letting me draw you naked. I still can't believe you let me do that. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Uh, scusi, baba da boopy? Che cosa? Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Baba da boopy? Baba da boopy da baba da baba da. Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. Boba da baba. Boba bibi boba baba bibi baba. Tu sei un pazzo, va bene da qui. Boba bibi baba. Sono stanco di te, ti do un pugno alla testa. Ti giro con questa carne. Amazingly racist, but actually pretty funny. Still didn't laugh though. Now, now, this is just a suggestion, just throwing it out there. Have you considered abortion? Uh, 
Peter, I think it's too late for that. Oh, don't let the press put the scare into you. Wade V. Boggs has not been overturned. Yeah, but you can't really abort a live baby. Oh, boy, they have got you. Glenn, Glenn, give her back to God. Stu! 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 Yes, you there. Oh, you know, I think you should all be nicer to Will Wheaton. The way I treat my colleagues... Wait, what? I said you ought to be nicer to Will Wheaton. You mean Will Wheaton? Yes, Will Wheaton. Why are you saying it like that? Well, I'm just saying you should be nicer to Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton seems like a nice guy. Say wheat. Wheat. Now, say Will Wheaton. 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 Hey, did you hook up with Whoopi Goldberg on the show? All the time. Lewis! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! Mama! Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> Thank goodness Peter bought a huge supply of dehydrated meals before the blast. Peter, what are you doing? You just ate a year's worth of food. Yeah, what a waste of money. I'm still hungry. Everyone leave. I have to poop. Now! Notice large quantities of benzene, ephedrine, and everyday Epsom salt have gone missing. <coughs> oh, please. We both know those are the ingredients used to make crystal meth. And I've got a pretty good idea who you've been selling it to as well. Oh, hey. Uh, Baker, when you're done talking to your friend, I want to... Uh, I want to talk to you about that thing. <laughs> okay, sunsets. Das ist gut. Ja. Sauerkraut. Das ist gut. Ja. The Autobahn. Vroom vroom. Das ist gut. Ja. Umpa music. Das ist gut. Ja. Euthanasia for the mentally feeble. Das ist gut. Das ist gut, ist filmed before an audience of the mentally feeble. God, I wish I could get tickets to that show. Before I start playing, I'm gonna eat this whole sandwich. I'll finish it later. Yay. It really be like that too. It'll be for my fourth birdie. It looks like someone's in the zone. Oh, tough break there, Jesus. Yep. Or was it? Whoop, 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 whoop. Booyah! You know, Peter, it's so nice that after all these years we've been together, we can still Smoke break. What? Peter, what are you doing down there? Nothing. Well, it doesn't seem like nothing. Since when are you a smoker? Put that out right now. Smoking is highly addictive. I'm not addicted. I just need a couple every hour or so, so I don't go completely insane. Peter, that's exactly what addicted means. You have a serious problem. Cigarettes will kill you. Relax, Lois. I can quit any time I want. Look, I'll toss this one out right now. Hello, Meg. A chick that you don't want, they take off the clothes in front of you or they like try and do stuff and you try to let them down easily and they get mad at you for not liking them. And the part that'll make you laugh is then they try to tell you that you're missing out and you're sitting there looking at them like, yep. <laughs> that doesn't count as another laugh, right? I've, I've laughed twice. I got three left. So, I see you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right, and I'm certified as an accountant and also have a law degree. That's all very impressive. We'll keep you in mind. Let's see, pointy boobs, medium pointy boobs, not so pointy boobs. That's a shame.
<laughs> God damn it, man. Two in a row, man. God damn it, it's going downhill fast. And well, Prius Pumpkin from the county fair, that's why I'm naming you my chief of police. Mayor West, there's something you need to see. My God, my wife is seeing another mayor. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be, because I'm going to win her back. I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> Officer down! I really appreciate you putting me up, Cleveland. Our house is your house, Peter. I'd sit here and chat with you, but I need to get back upstairs to Loretta because it's our anniversary and the getting's good. Ow, 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 ow. When's it gonna be my turn? Ow, 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 ow. I've been there before. I know his pain. God, I miss her. And I wish I ran into a female who could do me like that. Not doggy style. There's no way to save that. I'm gonna leave it in. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. <laughs> oh. I didn't laugh. I did not laugh. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Eh, what's up, Jack? getting along better than Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. You want to smoke, smoke some crack? crack? Ah! Oh, I, I love, love you. you. Get the crack! Hey, Mom. Hey, Brian. We'll be upstairs. Yo, Rita, you want in on this? No, thanks. We just got engaged. <laughs> I'm faithful to Brian now. Whatever. This ain't even my whole night. Sorry, but you know the rules. Hannah can't do the photo shoot until Miley finishes her homework. You can't tell Hannah what to do. She's not your daughter. Wait, so Miley's my daughter, but Hannah isn't? Right. Great. Put your wig on. <laughs> Shut up! This is real! I got one laugh left! Being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Wait, wait. Don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, no. Hey, Peter. What's the you rush? I got the most beautiful woman in the world at home, and I have no one to keep her waiting. Hey, Vincenzo, play me a tune, huh? Vincenzo, insalata caprese! Yeah, I gotta take this. Who's calling? My ex-girlfriend. She calls me drunk every Valentine's Day. Hey, Samantha. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I still love Lois. Oh, come on. You would have been a great mom. She had cervical cancer five years ago. She's basically a boob on a leg at this point. Well, that's something. You're in a book club? Lows are tough to get into. What? Well, I didn't even know the fine young cannibals were still together. Eight city tour? Well, I don't know if I can make eight, but I can certainly do six. What about Lois? She's totally out of the picture. We've done everything to sign the papers. Samantha, Samantha, I will see you in Binghamton. And now I want you to go and take a picture of yourself because it will be your last day alone. Jeez, what's not clear about get lost? By the way, my attendance at home is going to be spotty over the next few weeks. I sometimes see you oh, God, Lionel. 
You have been hurt. You have been hurt by somebody. That much is clear. Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Oh, Peter, thank you. An arcade-style Galaga machine. <laughs> oh, thank you, Peter. Move! Give me all your money. Okay, okay. You have a white wallet? Yeah, just like Truman Capote. Who's Truman Capote? What a surprise. The muggers never heard of Truman Capote. There's a library card in there. Use it! More aggressive than Michael Jackson's treatment of his own groin on stage. <laughs> Michael Jackson's treatment of his own groin on stage. Sense for this ticket. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. God, could he be any more annoying? Oh, hey, it's Tom. Tommy! Since Lois says I gotta keep an eye on you, we might as well have some father son time. So I'm gonna measure your penis, and then I'm gonna measure my penis, and we're gonna see who's is bigger. Doesn't really seem fair. All right, let's see what you get. <laughs> Shit! Well, the rules are I get five laughs, okay? I'm very easily pleased, which if any women out there the same way, please let me know. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> does that count as three? Oh no! The egg that I was supposed to take care of for my high school project. Mr. Burke was right. I'm not ready to be a parent. You will be worked harder than you have ever been worked in your miserable, pathetic lives. And play harder, right? I bet. Step forward, maggot. Ah! Next time, that'll be you. Well, why wasn't it him this time? Oh, I'm so scared. Stop it! Yeah, you're real big when you got that stick, ain't you? Okay, I'll stop now. Oh. Mother... <laughs> Dirty mother... Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death. Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Well, looks like the whole neighborhood's out here. Yeah, just hope that weird albino up the street doesn't show up. That guy creeps me out. Hello, Peter. Yeah, yeah, uh, hey, hey, Bill. Uh, what are you doing out here in all this snow? Just taking my rabbit to the vet. I bet I was a doctor who had to deal with a lot of serious... For some reason, I don't know why, but I think that's sexual. Can't even explain why. Duff, but always found a way to keep things light. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Yeah, she is. It's not yours. Yours died. Okay, the first Didn't laugh or cry on that one. The rule of Jewish Fight Club is if somebody says ow, you stop. Ow. Okay, let's see. Murdered? Who in the world would want to kill a camper? Don't look at me. I'm just here to drop off my son. Justin, Justin, that does not work for me. Trade house keys, bang each other's wives? Yep. I don't believe you. God, is that true? 
God? God, are you there? Come on, don't touch yourself. You're God. Oh, look, it's Pengrove Pig. And he's sharing his apples nicely, isn't he? <laughs> like a champ he is. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And that's how you make a duck out of an oatmeal container. This is the greatest show in the history of television! A writing Moa? For God's sake, stop making all these frivolous purchases. You just blew all that money hiring that English to raccoon translator. Don't need a translator for that one. Tell him to come back when he's ready to act like an adult. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember Him by going to church and praising Him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> wow, neat. So this is space. that one man stupid oh man it's done get out of here are you serious yeah oh man oh man i just got your messages and i oh i'm sorry george it's been over for a while really yeah it's 1981 it's oh oh wow oh so i'm way late oh boy yeah uh well you want to do something else i got some blow son of a bitch took you this long to tell me break it out man you are not watching the emmys tonight now shut Uh, excuse me, I gotta go do some black guy stuff. And this is our writer's lounge where you'll meet some of our contributors. Fielding Wellingtonsworth. Hello. Livingston Winsterford. Yes. Amelia Bedford Furthington Chesterhill. Good day. And James William Bottomtooth. Oh, no. Everyone, this is Brian, our newest contributor. Hi there. Uh, how's it going? Would you like some tea? Cigar. Brandy. Go to the <laughs> A little. There wasn't this much tension when the slaves were freed. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? Don't worry, Lois, I'm good. I had to hold that one in. Good at finding people. I was the one who found Bush after Hurricane Katrina. Uh, Mr. President, are you up there? Go away! Sir, there's a disaster in New Orleans. I'm reading Super Fudge. You gotta come down and deal with this. Don't make me do stuff. Yeah, uh, I bought a giant life-size slingshot from you, and it just slammed me into a mountain. Sorry, no returns. I've been a customer here for years. I can maybe give you a store credit. But, uh, really? Well, I, I guess... Uh... What's the holdup in here? I'm taking care of it! God, you're more clueless than Popeye. Sir, I think you should know these growths on your forearms. They're giant tumors. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm surprised you haven't realized this is not how a human being is supposed to look. And the speech thing and what you're doing with your eye? Uh, you had a stroke about seven years ago. That you've managed to be walking around all this time is nothing short of a miracle. I'd say about two months. So you're gonna get in shape the way American athletes do? By taking steroids? I say, Jenkins, you give me that dirty look one more time and I have a good mind to get into my PJs and have a pillow fight with you. Very well then, on guard! I, you like, like, you like, you like, you. I like your gal. I like your... Oh my god, the stork! Where's my baby? Sweetie, you and me are gonna make the baby. Whoa, 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 what, what the hell are you guys doing here? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, we happen to be here to solve a case. Uh, we were here first. Uh... Well, you know, this is a free country, dude, and we are here to go to work. Free country, but this is our beat, you know? Yeah, we're, but we're, we're here. here to go to work, we've been called, and that's why we're here. You know what, I tell you, how about you just turn around and walk away? No, huh? I don't think so. You, t uh, yeah, you know what? We do not walk away. Hey there, Wonder Woman. Flying your invisible plane, I see. Uh, <laughs> boy, this is awkward. I'm... I'm uh, actually in the lavatory of the invisible plane. Oh, oh, you mean right now you're... Yeah.
So I couldn't help but notice you didn't wash your hands in the invisible sink. Oh, uh, let me light that for you, babe. Wow. Yeah, magic fingers. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What? Get the Escalade. We're out of here. One more! God damn it! Why does Jesus drive an Escalade? Come on, bro. Bruh, this is not looking good at all. What are you watching, Peter? Passion of the Christ. I tell you, Brian, I can't believe that this guy's just lying there taking it. If it was me, I would have done something about it. Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. What's that? I thought we'd try that lobster place we passed in the car. Yeah, can I just uh, finish watching this? You can watch TV anytime. I'm starving. Lana, this is going to be a real long trip if you don't knock off the crap. Love you. So you can be successful writers like Ben Affleck. It really be like that, too. Any dude out there ever do that today, girl? Affleck and Matt Damon. Huh, there, finished. Goodwill Hunting by Matt Damon. Hey, uh, you think we could put both our names on that? What? You've done nothing but eat briars and smoke pot for the last six months. Oh, that's ridiculous. Come on, I... I helped. Oh, yeah? Okay, uh, r write a line. Just, just right now. Just pitch me a line right now. Okay. How about that? That wasn't a line. You just farted. Is there any more pot? We do everything together, yeah? Yeah. You got your poison? Mm. Okay, one, two, three. You, you didn't do it! You didn't do it either! Okay, okay, alright, well, this time we really have to do it. Uh, okay, alright, you okay. ready? Okay, okay. One, one two... two. Uh, you want me to kill myself and you're not going to! You suck! You suck! You suck! Good evening, I'm Dane Rather, and tonight on CBS News, seven Saudi soldiers sodomized several of Saddam's southern settlement squatters. I'm Dan Rather. Which way should we go? I don't know, let's ask the Goonies. Take the left one. Thanks. Hey, hey, Chunk, Chunk, come here, come here. Hey, uh, before you go, do the truffle shuffle. Oh, come on! Do the truffle shuffle! <sighs> <laughs> Childhood obesity. Oh! Oh, my lord, look who's here. Agent Jessup, look at all these prostitutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven prostitutes. This is a shakedown. Mr. Griffin, this isn't going to work. Yeah, Peter, you and five of those prostitutes get out. What? Yeah, uh, it, it, it's actually a pretty funny story. Uh, true story. Uh, Brian and I walked into your house, and uh, she was with some guy going, Bam! 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 Uh, Peter, uh, maybe... Hey, uh... Hang on, I'm not done. Bam! 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 And then she's all, Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Bam! 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 You want to take it from here, Bam Bam? From here, Emerald? Bam! Number one. Yes, Captain. Let me ask you something. If I whispered in your ear that Commander Worf's head looks like a fanny, would you join me in a laugh? Yeah, I could get in on that. All right. Here it comes. Commander Worf's head looks like a fanny! <laughs> <laughs> you can both suck my ridges! Oh, get a sense of humor, Rocky! <laughs> he told me to suck his ridges! Ridges. Sir, suck my ridges, man. Nigga, suck my ridges. Off me, man. Fuck out Commander Wolf's head looks like a fanny. <laughs> <laughs>
You can both suck my ridges. Oh, get a sense of humor, Rocky Dennis. <laughs> that guest list is more exclusive than the Garden of Eden. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Don't worry, Lois. Peter's good at getting out of trouble. Just like Kobe Bryant. We want the truth, Kobe. Did you rape her? Ooh. What were we talking about? Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it, man. Like the folks you meet in those Louisiana swamps. Excuse me, do you know how to get to town? Yeah, it's back the way you came. Hey, boo boo. Oh! Okay, that wasn't a laugh. That that was just me being sad. Oh. Let's see what we got in this picnic basket. <laughs> Tell the, the other bears what you just saw. My what type of? Honey, baby, everything all right in there? Oh, I think I'm about to pass a kidney stone. <laughs> okay, alright, I might not win this one. As the regular rules go, we got five laughs before I lose, because I'm so easily pleased. Uh, ooh, that's gotta hurt worse than getting a birthday telegram from Zinedine Zidane. Yes? Bon anniversaire. Amazing! There was only one man in the world with a vision to predict- What? <laughs> something like this. Damn! Laura! 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 <laughs> nice day we're having. I laugh, okay. I laugh. Still got four left. Oh, yes! What? He said nice day, but he covered with rain. So? So he said it's when your brain no, it's not really nice day. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes, he said the opposite. It's funny. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, nice day. Oh, now you're funny too. Oh. Oh, God, there is no fucking drummer better than Neil Peart! It ain't easy being cheesy. What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking of those old timey. Too late! Take too long! Sad Christmas! What you want? Fire truck! What color? Red! Next! Ah. Hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah. Okay, that was a bit of a laugh. Alright, so I got three left. Two minutes and three left. I can, I can do this. Setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big screenplay. Me too. All real writers need to be seen writing. Otherwise, what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch me? But how can you leave me now, Ben Stiller, when I need you more than ever? I've taught you everything you need to know, Peter. Now it's time for me to go. Please don't fly into the distance with sad music. Because that would probably make me laugh. I'll help another child. I guess I just fooled myself into thinking you'd always be with me. I will, Peter. I will always be with you. Oh. His movies are terrible. Oh, you must be God. Just had to say some funny shit at the end. But I didn't laugh. So I got three. Be our new dorm mate. I'm Rogers Chapstick, heir to the Chapstick fortune, and this is Virgil Mastercard, heir to the Mastercard fortune. Oh, yes, yes. How do you do, And this is James Bottom Tooth the Fourth. Oh, no. Well, that's enough fun for one day. I'm sweating more than a non legacy applying to Yale. <laughs> 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 Shit! Dang it! I don't even know why that's funny! Okay, I got two left. And a minute and a half. There's no way that I could lose. Uh... We now return to Japanese girls think small versions of things are really cute. Oh, look at my tiny dog. I'm gonna put it in my tiny purse. Peter Griffin. Ah, now that is a challenge. <laughs> Go ahead.
ahead. Mock me. But it wasn't Stewie who was laughing at me. It was God! And here to help me secure the Latino vote is actor Jimmy Smits. Adam West likes to eat food that's grilled in foil. <laughs> that's our guy. Nine. God! was bad. I agree with that. Oh, I can't believe how easy this is. Mrs. Griffin, what are your plans for cleaning up our environment? 9-11. Mrs. Griffin, what about our traffic problem? 9-11. And we're here with the reactions. Sir, how does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism, and... <laughs> and if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. Uh, hi. Did you also get caught trying to vote in Ohio? Now go laugh. I'm home. You're all my bitches now. Okay. Meg, you look so different. How was prison? First question. Who's the biggest, toughest guy in this house? Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but I believe I hold the distinction of... <laughs> My house now. Now who's the funniest? I know my way around a joke. <laughs> For God's sake, Dad, have some humility. It'll save your life. <laughs> there better be beer in the fridge. Boy, I liked her better when she was more predictable. Like the stock photos on a corporate website. I'm a woman in a lab coat wearing goggles staring intently at a beaker that I'm holding near my face. I'm a Latino in a hard hat, but I'm also wearing a tie so you know I'm a supervisor. We're college students listening to our professor, but the class is taking place... outside? Hey. Meg! What the hell are you doing in here? Shower time. Yeah, for me! Not, not for... What are you doing with that loofah? Don't worry about it. Ah! You told me not to worry about it! I should have been worried the whole time! Meg, honey, I did all your laundry. Oh my god, what is that smell? It's my poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. That's disgusting! No, you use the toilet here like everyone else. No. Ah, uh, god, it smells horrible. Well, can you at least empty it each time you use it? I like to fill it up. I'm not making a million trips. Oh my god, are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah, and I think I might need some right now. Get out now or stay and get weird. Your call, Warden. Hey, who's the new dude? Oh my god, that's Meg Griffin. She just got out of prison. This is the most terrifyingly funny yet still really terrifying thing I've ever seen on anything. Hey, Meg, what'd they put you in jail for? Being ugly? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, what happened? Did you get out early for fat behavior? <laughs> <laughs> nice tattoo. Did you get your butt hair braided, too, while you were in there? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do, carve a gun out of soap and then not wash with it? Haha, <laughs> P.U. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, are you going to take those soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? <laughs> <laughs> Meg's been suspended from school. That's okay, whatever she wants to do. She cracked. Why would you kiss her? No, no, I see why. <laughs> That's three kids' skulls. Shit! Damn it, that's... One laugh left. It's open. Ever since she's gotten out of prison, she's completely out of control. Don't you see? That's what the penal system does in this country. It turns small-time offenders into hardened criminals. Look at Meg. They took an innocent little girl and turned her into a psychotic, sociopathic freak. <gasps> What'd you say, Brian? 
Oh, I, I, I was just picking up on something Lois said. What, 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 what was it? What did you say, Lois? Something about Meg being a freak? Oh, no. I didn't say anything. Uh, Peter said something about Meg, which I completely disagree with. Oh, that, 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 that wasn't me. Stewie was really laying in the Meg about something. Yeah, it was Stewie. Definitely Stewie. Oh, so now everyone understands me. Look, Meg, we're just worried about you. Well, don't. I can take care of myself. I'll be out of here by the end of the week. Punch yourself in the face. Punch yourself in the face! All right, he doesn't know what he's doing. You fat, so punch your baby in the face! I did good, Meg. Shut up. I did good. I did good. What's really funny is I had no idea that Family Guy was anywhere there near this funny. Like, I've been watching Family Guy for years, but they have so many episodes out, like, it's impossible for me to see every single one. But apparently, I need to go do that because I had no idea they were anywhere near this damn funny. But yo, if you guys want to watch the original video, the link is in the description down below, but probably not. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blast with Sage D, man. Twizzles.